Hey, how's it going YouTube? J2H back here for another Mill Creek Blu-ray review. This one being um, another double feature in um, Rosewood Lane and White Noise The Light. Now again, per usual with my double features, I only had a chance to check out one and I chose White Noise The Light. Sometimes they don't come back alone. Um, Nathan Fillion and Katie Sackoff. Rosewood Lane starring Rose McGowan. Apparently from the director of Jeepers Creepers, which I'm not sure is a good thing from what I've heard on the internet. But, you never know. There you go, the spine, Rosewood Lane, and White Noise the Light. Now, I chose White Night, White Night, ha! <laughs> White Noise the Night because, based on what I read, they said it was a standalone sequel, and oh, you don't have to see the first one. And I like, I really like Katie Sackhoff, and I enjoy Nathan Fillion, so... Um, I was like, okay, I'll check it out. And then immediately when the uh, the title shows up, it says White Noise 2 and doesn't say White Noise the Light. So I'm like, I feel like this is a direct sequel and I'm uh, I'm jumping the gun. But they didn't base anything off the previous film, so it was an enjoyable watch nonetheless. And maybe that's, you know, to you guys. that, that, that might, Hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, there's the synopsis for Rosewood Lane. It's 96 minutes. Um, looks like it's rated R for some violence. And is a what's the year on this daddy? 2011. Whereas White Noise, here's the synopsis there. 99 minutes, PG 13, and is a 2006. So it's actually the older of the two. Um, and based on everything I've read after I watched this, it sounds like White Noise the Light did better than White Noise the 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 first one, the singular. Um, three hour and 16 minute runtime for the total of the two. Um, this was released in 2020, so this is available now. Um, so essentially, real quick, with White Noise the Light, um, Nathan Fillion, is it Fillion or Fillion? Fillion. Um, his wife and son are, you know, they're eating at a diner, and um, the wife and son get shot. Um, and this all happens within the first minute, so it's not a spoiler. And then he attempts his own life. And he comes real close, he has a near-death experience, and he comes back. After he comes back, he sees essentially dead people. He will see someone in a crowd, and it'll have like a white, you know, like a white squiggly line, or like, you know, the white noise around it, the light, I'm assuming, is what it's actually supposed to be. And then they're like moments from death, and he, you know, attempts to intervene, and then there's two or three or four plot twists, and yeah, it's not, um, not the greatest film. I enjoyed it, I was... I was hooked all the way till the end, you know. I didn't have any problem with the story. It was just, it felt like there was one too many twists for my personal liking. Um, single disc, just a Blu-ray um, double feature. You got Rosewood Lane and White Noise Light. So on the uh, menu, it shows up and it's actually vertical. It'll say Rosewood Lane and then White Noise Light and you pick which one. Pick White Noise and then it has that. Um, Movie. I don't think either of these have but uh, bonus features, but it has white noise and then the menu, scene selection, everything like that. And then a back option, and you can go back, and Rosewood Lane has its own menu with a back option. So it's awesome that you can skip to one or go back to one or skip scenes on an individual disc and then skip to the other movie in general. Sometimes double features are just packed on and you, you know, it goes right to the film. It goes right to one of the movies. So that's the inner artwork. So yeah, guys, there you go. Let me know um, if White Noise, the original, is worth checking out because I enjoyed the sequel uh, so much so I'm going to recommend you guys pick this up from Amazon. The link will be in the description. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you guys, or thank you, well, yeah, you guys at Mill Creek um, for sending me this to check out. I highly, or I appreciate it. Um, highly appreciate it, but I don't think that's a thing. Um, again, thank you so much. Um, if you want to like, share, and subscribe, do so on the way out, please. Um, if you want to support the channel, all of my links are in the description, um, including eBay, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or not Facebook, I don't have Facebook, Blu-ray.com, Letterboxd, TV Time, where I rate and review movies and TV shows, respectively, the, the podcast I currently co-host with Mr. Crazy Joe, all of it's in the description, as well as a link, go support Mill Creek, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you later, YouTube.